Hey, this is Mehdi with Fullstack Library, and in this video, we'll deploy GitHub repo on Netlify. I'm gonna just start first by downloading the theme. Go here, to HTML5 app, and let's just pick up one. Well, I'll just pick this one, I copy the URL, copy link address, I go to the terminal, and I use wget command download the theme here. Okay, after I download the theme, let's just unzip it into unzip download into a directory. I will name it full stack library dash theme. Okay, that's good. Now let's just open this folder right here. And just you see, so these are the files. Now I download the theme. Let's just create a new public repo on GitHub. I will go to GitHub and I'll create a new repo. Let's just use the same name, full stack library theme. Full stack library theme. We'll leave the description blank, public, leave it like that. I will not initialize this repo with any readme. I will create it manually. And for the git ignore, I will not use it because we will ignore nothing. Let's just create the repo. As you see, I have created new repo on the command line. I will do that manually. So let's just copy this line right here. Echo. So this echo full stack library theme readme. So we'll just create a readme.md file and we'll initialize it or put this content right here within the readme.md. As you see, this is a readme. Cat readme. Now we have two readme.txt and .md. Okay, I have to initialize it. Here's init. Now I initialize the folder. Now I have a git repo. And if you want to find for that, you will see that I have a .git folder it will include the version in. Commit all of that. But before I run git status, so you see I have to add this files right here. Add dash a, so we'll add everything. Let's just check for that again. Okay, now let's just commit all of that. M commit dash, dash M, then initialize, oh, I will say, Hello world. Good. Now I don't have anything to commit, but I just need to add this remote right here to push the changes into this repo. Add the remote, then I will get push your origin to master. Okay, I will, I will push everything into the master. Type username, then the password. Okay, good. Now I'll push everything into the repo, into the GitHub repo. Okay, we'll wait a little bit, 88%. Let's just verify that, I refresh the page, and boom, we have here the files. Okay, our repo is ready to be used on Netlify. Let's just move to Netlify dashboard, and I will create a new site. Click on GitHub, and we'll link Netlify to the GitHub repos. So let's just choose this account right here, and now I need to select a repo. So let's just go for that full stack library theme. I have a selected one repository and I give read access to code and read access to metadata. Let's just click on install. I link this repo full stack library theme to a new site. Okay, let's just move on and click here. Then if I have multiple branches, but in my case, I only have one, which is master. But if I have multiple ones, I can pick one. And in our case, we only have one, so we will stick to master. So we don't have to add any build command or publish directory. Okay, let's just leave them blank and click on deploy site. And see deploy in progress. Now it's finished. Your site is deployed and we have a link right here. And if we click on the link, you will see that our site is deployed. Okay, our website is already deployed from this GitHub repo right here. Now let's just do a change. Okay, I will go for this for you right here and I will change this hi, my name is for you to hello world. Okay, I will open this index.xml and I will check for what? My name. Okay, my name. Okay, I'll remove the line. I'll go for H1. Then a hello world, save that. But if I check here, 
from the website, I will not have this hello world because this website right here is deployed from the GitHub repo. I need to push the changes into GitHub. For that, let's just check git stairs. So I have index.html. Let's just add everything. Then I will commit the changes locally. Okay. Change the title. And I will push to I will push the changes into the origin master. Now let's just check for commit. I have here changed the name. Okay, now that I have a commit, I want to just push this change into Netlify button, but without doing it manually, if I refresh the page, so the commit change recital is deployed. And to check for that, let's just verify this commit right here. You see that I have a change title. And this is what I changed. I'd say I changed hi, my name is John to hello world. And to verify that, let's just click on the deployed and we'll preview the deploy. And voila, we have a hello world instead of hi, my name is Foy. You can do as many changes as you want, but once you hit this push, so you define from Netlify that you want to get the changes from the master. And once you do any change within the master, so it will be deployed as a new, it will be used as a new deploy and it will have multiple ones. Okay, I have here change recital. I can go to the older one, this one, and I can preview you know, each deploy separately. And if I decide that I want this deploy to be published, I just need to hit publish. Okay, now if I check here, I will see that I have the older one. Hi, my name is Foy. So to summarize, you can publish any deploy you want and you can even preview it. So far, we'll learn how to download a theme. We create a new public repo on GitHub and we push the changes into GitHub and we deploy the static theme by using Netlify. And this is how we can use Git to deploy a theme. You can do the same process if you are using Bitbucket. If you have any problem with the process or with the steps, just leave me a comment and I will be happy to help you.